close. Harriet! Harriet! Still working there? I'm reading strong. Yeah, there's no way to be certain I'm getting a valid signal. Well, whatever, eh? You see, the moon is it's running across the Andromeda cluster, like I showed you last night. Should be a lot lower in the sky this time of year. And our orbit could be askew. Yes. The satellite that feeds this tracker could be wrongly aligned. I mean, it may not be working at all. The planet could be slowly spiralling into the sun. Beautiful, though, isn't it? Moon. I'm saying we could miss Ark by three or four miles, and we never know. I don't think I've ever seen a moon as beautiful as that. I know you think I'm mad to hope that Jonathan's still alive. No, I don't. Come on. Diary of Anita Nixon, aged 11. I've decided today's my birthday. It's day 30-something. To begin with, it was like a strange dream being with them. But now the past seems like a dream. Every day, Hild gets closer to the birth and more and more frightened of what will happen to her. They wait without saying a word. It's yesterday. It's showing. <sighs> Tell me to mind my own business if you mind like. Mind your own bloody business. Tell them. They can put you in the car. No, I don't need sympathy. Not from you or anyone else. I'm fine. <sighs> anyway, you're not a father. I don't need you behaving like you are. Well, maybe it takes an apocalypse to make a new man out of me.
quit down there, haven't they? Well, my mum's there. The camp's dead, mate. It could be anybody's. We could follow them. Oh, look, Leo, they could have gone in any direction. There's no point in even trying. They're the ones who have her. We have to find her. Promised. I can wait. Let it down. I ain't listening. You listening? No. To. I can't believe you've just been that stupid. can't serve one purpose. Now, now it's surplus to requirements. Oh, Harriet. Oh, come on, think. Just, just stop for a moment and think about it. Think about it in terms of space travel. Yeah, let's do that. What a fun idea. We've dumped the command module, and, and now we're in the landing pod. We're streamlined for splashdown. I'll buy that. It's a symbolic gesture. Oh, well, that's a relief. I thought it was an act of total insanity, but in actual fact, it's a symbolic gesture. I knew my life was short on something. Thanks, Harriet, you've helped me put my finger on it. What I really need right now, when I'm freezing cold and starving hungry, what I really need is a symbolic bleeding gesture! We made it! I told you we would. Oh. It started. I'm scared. This baby won't die, Hild. She was pregnant before. The baby died. We didn't get her there in time. We're almost there, Hilda. We're almost there. Almost where? That's Ark. You sure? You said this could be out of alignment. It's not what I pictured. Calling towers for the filter systems. Everything's safe on the ground. This is it. Place is deserted. No. Now don't be fooled. Beneath our feet lies a complex five times the size of the Millennium Dome. It has everything we need. I'm telling you, all the things we've talked about, all the things of home that we miss, are down here under our feet. Well, why haven't the people come up, then? We slept for 50 years. Maybe they did. Yeah, but could they still be frozen down there? Let's get moving. This place gives me the creeps. We're trapping ourselves inside that thing until we know what's going on. What? Let's get out of sight over here. Did you see anything? No. Oh, no. Sod this. What do you slip out of here just for one minute? It's a bastard. He stole my sister. Shut up. You don't know that. Hey! 
Listen, you wait here. I'll be back. What? Take this. You might need it. But if I get into any trouble, I'll improvise. Give you ten minutes. If I'm not back, get inside that tower. Yeah, but you will be back. Of course. Be safe. How's that? What? I'm coming with you. Don't like anybody else playing scout leader, do you? Look, the only person I trust to look after me is me. Even now? must be up now. We give him a little longer. Sister, I know they are. Shh. You're angry. We all know you're bloody angry, son. But what good's getting yourself killed? Is that going to help Anita? Not your son. No, you're a man now. You've lived a lifetime, I know. Leo. Go on, run! Get inside! Inside the tower!
Listen. Technician D level, operating tag 844. 443K. No, it's good. Swipe cards. No security clearance. in Ashbourne. I wasn't part of the facilitating team or the hibernating team. I worked with uh, Jonathan Geddes. Well, I know him. <laughs> Jonathan, I found you! Now, I'm as strong as you wanted me to be. What else do you want me to do? Card's not working, Ian. We can't get in, Ian. 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 This white card's not working. I made it, Jonathan. Let me in. The arrow, go. Back. Go. Get up there. Put it out, Ian. Put just gracias, everybody, and adios. Where's Nick? He's down there. That should work. Go green. We're in! Quickly! Oh, Nick! We can't leave him out there! Don't worry, it's coming! Run! What about the others? I'm here for them. Nick could do no. the same for me. You don't have to do that, Colleen. I want Go! Take this. No, no, there's a leader here. I'll double look the doors. They won't be able to get inside. But it's deserted. I don't understand. It's all automated. So come on, Harriet, where are all these people? Well, let's find them and make some sense of all this. Hibernation. <sighs> That's where they're frozen. That's the amount we could get rid of those primitive bastards. How many are there? Harriet? Be back as soon as I can. Harriet! Shit! Ten minutes. And Geddes had better be happy to see you. They've locked us out. 
if we lose another. No, we won't. If it dies. We'll get them out. We must hurry. Maybe they need us to make up a bridge and. Is she all right? Is it my brother and the others? Tell me, are they here? Hey! 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 Look, can we talk? There's no need for this. Yes, there is. Okay. So you can talk. Great. Look, look, I know you're unhappy about how things have worked out, but all we ever wanted was to get inside this building, yeah. That's all. That's all. Yeah. We know what's getting at you. You think we took your little girl, don't you? But that's not true. She'll tell you. She found us. She came to us and we didn't know who she was, so we protected her. I can take much more of this. Relax, the military will sort that lot out. Oh, really? Confident about that, are you? In actual fact, you do seem quite relaxed, Colin. Got something off your back, have you? Hey? What do you mean, Ro? When you're guarding the door, what did you see? I told you. There were guns going off everywhere. It, it was like the Alamo. And then Mick went down. You saw that? I heard that. I don't think I saw it. I did what I could. You did nothing. Do any more, they were everywhere. Because you were jealous. Jealous? What's this all in order? Why risk your life for him? Why put yourself forward? Why volunteer? You've never done it in the, in the past. Why not? Bro, you're upset. We all are. This isn't the Did you want to get him out of the way? Is that it? Did you want to stamp the dirt down on his grave, Colin? 
Or was it just a little bit more than that? Hey, steady on. Did you let him die? You'd love that, wouldn't you? Hey! I started to confirm all those nice little doubts that you've been cultivating about me since day one. You've never given me a chance. You've always thought of me as some sort of weirdo. This is just perfect for you now. Because now you can prove yourself to be right. That's enough, Colin. If Mick's dead, it's nothing to do with me. It's because he's the idiot that I always knew he was. And women like you, yeah, yeah, love to put yourself up on a pedestal, don't you? But you always end up going off with a scraggy bit of rough. The bloke who tosses you a duff line and leaves you in the lurch. Move! We got knowledge. Stuff you people don't know about. We can pass it on like. Hey! Let's try. We can help each other. I mean, we're all human beings, aren't we? Just trying to get along. Did you kill him? <laughs> we can help each other. Well, let's work it out, yeah? Oh, God, no. Did you kill him? Come on. I understand the troubles. Let's talk. Let us in! Jesus Christ. Oh, my God, they're alive. Let's talk. Leave them alone. Speak to them. Tell them how you feel. I'm scared. Tell them to let us in.
Siwam! Don't you let them force you out! We can move us soon. What have you done to them? This place is ours. It's where our children have to be born. We've done what we've had to do. I can see a house from up here. Austin. Austin. You know what they're doing right now? They're mounting the biggest rescue you've ever seen. Josh, we were around. You know, he's a bugger. Say he'll be up in a minute, love. And that last day in the hospital, she was so tired. She had enough, but she was fighting to stay with me. So I held her hand, and I said, "You go up." I'll be up in a minute. Fifty years. <laughs> she must be wondering where I am. No, no. I'm tired, Mick. It's time to go up. No. Austin. Austin! Don't leave me. Give me on my own. I don't know what to say. 
Harry. <laughs> I'm here. Lots of ghosts today. I'm not a ghost. I'm here. You see, my conceit was I believed I had my will to survive. I forgot. <laughs> Dragging a child a terrible journey. I wasn't ready. You didn't think I could survive. But I did. I found you, like I said I would. You, you don't have to hide down here anymore. Away. Huh? The others. Who thought out with you? Ah, children. Children. You never want what you want. You can't lock yourself away down here. You're dreaming of a civilization that can't exist. Person, you know? That's rich. Coming from a man, a man on a cross. I believe in Rome. Rome. I believe. I'll hold her again. Kiss her face and feel her warm. And she will kiss all the bruises away from me. She'll do that. Kiss me under the Moorish wall. And I thought well as well him as another. And then I asked him with my eyes to ask again. Yes. Don't leave me here on my own. And then he asked me would I yes. Don't leave me. To say yes, my mountain flower. Austin! I'm, I'm not a big man, really. And first I put my arms around him, yes. I'm, I'm Michael Smith. Yes. And his heart was going like mad. I'm Michael Smith. <laughs> and I'm shit scared. And yes, I said yes. I will, yes. Bastard! <laughs>
got a baby. It's all right, they won't hurt you now. They have to get to the ark. Or Hill's baby will die. <laughs> but why do this? Why this? We had to. This child can't die. It's more important than all of us. <laughs> no. You put them up there, now you get them down! Take her in. Get them down! Get Hill! Help me! Get her in! <laughs> You did what you had to do. Now we can all move on. Oh, I was an idiot. Leading you off here. No, you were the strongest. <laughs> you never wavered for a single moment. You were always true, true as an arrow, Harriet. You gave us hope. You were the only one who could. Where would we have gone if it hadn't been for you? We would have wandered aimlessly, directionless, without a future. We all pulled together, but you pulled us through. Who were frozen here. They left 40 years ago. Push. Push. These are their children. <laughs> go, go, go. Children of Ark. Hold your breath. <gasps> no. Push. People we've been looking for. The people we've been running from.
diary of Anita Nixon. The people we've been running from are the people we've been looking for. We were born in a train carriage. They were born in Ark. Then no one was born at all until now.